Hello, um, this picture's very orange, isn't it? It's very purple and very pink and very orange. And a little bit brown. <laughs> I really, I really do enjoy these intensely coloured pictures where there's an awful lot of blendy, subtle changes of colour. This was great fun because it's... I'm, I'm gonna say it's a product of the new lighting features where if you're quite close to a star the the overriding colour of that star will seem to give a cast to the background of space. I, I mean it, it could be in a planetary nebula or something, a very faint one, but I think I think it is just the the heat glare from that star. This is a very tight orbit for these two binary moon things. I don't know whether, which one's the planet and which one's the moon, or which one we're on. It looks like we could be on the moon. I'm wondering whether that one with the uh, the ring might actually be too large to land on. Although in uh, in Apamnapat, which is a system with several ringed planets, quite spectacular ringed planets, you can land on, I think, a couple of them. I'm not sure where this is, though. This is uh, by Commander Rizalang, so uh, it's uh, it's a long journey. <laughs> it's this little SRV that's um, put, put, putting along, creating its little plume of dust behind it, spiralling off into the vacuum as he travels towards the star. <laughs> Hopefully he won't try to jump to the binary moon. I wonder what's on that planet. It's so, it's so intensely coated in vivid colour though from that star that I just, I think that it must be quite an amazing um, place to visit. I wonder, because I think this was taken before Odyssey, I wonder whether he's been back. Uh, I think he traditionally is up in Colonia but I suspect uh, it may have come back to the bubble more recently for the fun and games. But I'm thinking um, potentially this might have been a pre-Odyssey planet and it might be interesting to see if this lighting is still the same. Because I know that places like, um, is it Titan's Daughter? Um, it's, it's not Seleno, is it? It's one of them. Oh yeah, it's Tegeta. Say Getter, I think. That's the place that used to look bright purple. I've done a couple of pictures of there because it is dazzling. It's not dazzling anymore. It's still kind of purple, but that star does not cast that intense purple glow over the whole system like it used to. Oh yes, here is Tarn. That was it. I, I enjoy doing rocky moons and the details on them. It's a challenge because it's quite difficult to copy all of the, the little bits faithfully because actually when you look at it, you realise just how much detail there is and how long you'd be there if you wanted to do it accurately. So I think that the thing with them is that you have to kind of suggest it without going too nuts with it. But yeah, it's, it's great fun doing those sharp highlights where at the top of the, uh, at the, top of the craters it's catching the light. Anyway, thank you for watching me draw it and uh, I should probably do another one in a couple of days. <laughs> right, bye.